gentlemen, Undertoads and Undertoadettes, we at CGR Undertow have procured a Wii U. And with that, I am pleased to announce that we do, in fact, have a lot of Wii U coverage coming up here on CGR Undertow. And in the meantime, well, let's open this bad boy up. So obviously, this is the Deluxe Wii U. You can tell because it's black and because it says Deluxe Set. All right, here's the first tray. Um, boy, th this is not packaged all that well. This is, this is unprofessional. You know, it's almost, it's all willy-nilly, as if someone was playing this recently and then realized that they needed to do an unboxing video and then just, and then they just threw it all in callously and without care. And so the top tray is just a lot of cables and plugs and plastic and manuals. Uh, not, not particularly interesting, although it does come with this. Uh, this is interesting because this is an HDMI cable. So you don't need to buy one uh, for the Wii U. You know, one of the advantages of the Deluxe set is that it includes this. This is uh, kind of cool. This is a charging dock for the Wii U gamepad. Uh, the basic set does not come with this, um, and it's kind of similar to the charging dock for the 3DS, in that it's just a more convenient way to not only charge your, three, uh, your hardware, uh, in this case the gamepad, but also to display it. Obviously, what remains in the top tray is largely boring, you know, pretty standard stuff. Here's your AC adapter. Uh, with a much larger power brick than the Wii had. A lot heavier, too. Uh, it also comes with a sensor bar. Wii owners will be familiar with the sensor bar. Uh, and a couple feet, which uh, can be attached to the Wii U, so that if you don't want it to lay down flat, which is sort of the default position this time, uh, you can also make it stand up. And because it's actually the least interesting thing in the second tray, uh, let's start with the hardware itself. This is the Wii U. Very shiny, glossy, sleek looking. So as you'd expect from that, you know, pseudo Apple Nintendo aesthetic, uh, it's actually pretty simple. You have your eject and your power buttons on the left. What's interesting to note is that the sync button is actually on the exterior of the console this time. Uh, the Wii U does have a flap, which flips down there, uh, and offers access to your SD card slots and two USB ports. But as is often the case with modern Nintendo consoles, uh, the, the real item of interest isn't even the hardware itself, it's actually the controller. Uh, and here it is, this is the Wii U gamepad. And you know, that whole Wii aesthetic was also carried over to the gamepad, so you have a very similar D-pad to the Wii mode, in both feel and look. Um, two analog sticks, one on the left, one on the right, and again, they're, they feel very much like the classic controller for the Wii. And uh, as do the buttons, actually. Similar looking and feeling uh, face buttons on the right, plus and minus on the, the right bottom side of the screen, as well as your home button, your mic, uh, your battery, and I'll tell you what, if there's a, down if there's a downside to the, to the gamepad so far, very short battery life. And here's the back of the controller. You have your R button and your ZR, so you have two uh, shoulder buttons on the back, uh, and then there's your port for your AC adapter if, if you don't have the charging dock. You can also use headphones because a lot of sound comes out of the gamepad um, in addition to the sound from the game. But again, uh, we've only scratched the surface uh, of the Wii U. Next week we're going to have a ton of coverage. We're going to have, again, Mario, Mickey, uh, the, the freaking Call of Duty, all kind of Nintendo Land, all kind of launch titles. We'll have reviews here on CGR Undertow. Uh, and we also might tinker around with the hardware a little more. Show you some of the installed software. Uh, I, don't know. I don't know if we'll have enough time. You know, I've still got to get fit in a trip to Bed Bath & Beyond. I don't know if we'll have enough time. Nonetheless, next week, here on CGR Undertow, lots of Wii U coverage. How will you play next? I, I don't know. Maybe you will have to watch our Wii U coverage on CGR Undertow. Because Undertow starts with a, with a U as well. God, that was lame. <laughs>